Hello everyone. This is a tutorial video for the lovely deltoidal hexacontahedron. And this shape looks like an icosahedron that has 20 triangles superimposed with a dodecahedron that has 12 pentagons. That's a very lovely shape. To make this shape, you'll need 12 of these pentagonal subunits. They are rather lovely star-shaped subunit. I will I have made already 11 of these here and I'm going to make the 12th for you now. To make each subunit, you will need 10 stacked rings of 16 magnets each and you'll cut them off into double thick uh, pairs of stacked rings. And then you pinch off the lower ring and then the one on the opposite side To make a petal shape, these will each, each of these will become one of the petals in the in the subunit. Sometimes they don't want to go together. You just choose another one. And then you put the points of these together to form a pentagon. And you use a single pentagon ring to uh, strengthen the top in this way. So that's the pentagonal sub-unit. To assemble the shape, we're just going to piece these together. It's easiest to start with them on their back sides and then to snap two points together. And then at this point, each of these gaps is going to require two of these quad units. So I've got a stacked, uh, stacked rings of four magnets each. I'm going to cut off two of those and use those to piece this together. I'm going to count up starting Starting from this corner of one of these flowers, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six magnets. And that sixth magnet is where this little plug piece is going to go. And it's, it's going to straddle either side of it like that. And then on the other side, the same thing. So we can equally well count up from this corner of that petal, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that sixth magnet fits into the gap between two of these in the circle of four. Then on the other side, you can see that the things almost line up and to strengthen this you push your fingers together and your thumbs together to 
to strengthen that corner and give it the right angle. So then you have a nice smooth parallel row of two magnets coming from each direction. Then the next step is to put another pentagon on here, matching corners to corners of the previous ones. And then in the same way, filling in these plug units. And then on the back side, doing the same thing to create two parallel rows. Same thing as before. Just like that. So this is actually one of the triangles of the icosahedron, and this is beginning to form the pentagons of the dodecahedron, which form the actual hexacontahedron made up of these kite-shaped or deltoidal pieces. So proceeding uh, as, there's one more step before I fast forward, and that is that once these corners once all three corners have come together to form that corner, we're going to separate these two magnets, this magnet from that magnet, like that. Separate this magnet from this magnet. And finally, this magnet from that one to strengthen the, the unit. On the far side, it looks like that. And proceeding in this way, we'll build the whole shape.
This shape is called a deltoidal hexacontahedron because it has 60, hexaconta is 60, kite-shaped pieces called deltoids. It rests well on one of these triangular faces.